All right, so this is the first of our formative activities for the color unit. We've been doing value scales all throughout the semester. So hopefully this is not a new skill, but just a new application of the skill using it with colored pencils. Colored pencils are actually a lot easier to do value scales. So this we should be able to get through rather quickly without too much um, difficulty. We're gonna be doing two different value scales. Um, one is going to be a smooth shading value scale just like we did in previous units with the drawing pencils, except this time we don't need to switch between the different types of drawing pencils. All you're gonna do is grab any color you want of your colored pencil. You do wanna make sure the tip is gonna be nice and sharpened. And just like when we did the value scales and the, in the value unit earlier in the semester, we still wanna practice using that overhand grip. That's going to ensure our value scale looks nice and smooth and even. <clears throat> Again, just like we did earlier in the semester, we're going to start in the center of our value scale, laying down kind of a medium to light medium value, remembering that we can always go back and darken it up, but it is a little bit more challenging with colored pencil to erase or to lighten things up. Not impossible, but definitely more challenging. So I'm gonna fill the middle of my value scale with my kind of medium to light medium value. It doesn't matter which end of your value scale is light or dark. You're gonna go ahead and decide which end is light and do that side next. Being careful to use that overhand grip for your pencil, blending it down to the very end with the lightest hint of color, making sure that the value scale looks smooth and even, not streaky or choppy. This is a smooth shading value scale. Okay, and I'm blending that very light value into my light and then back into my medium. I'm gradually increasing the pressure as I work my way down the value scale to the point where I get to the end of my value scale, I'm now kind of working in my dark to my very dark values. The overhand grip should work just fine for the majority of the value scale, except for at the very end, because we're using these nice Prismacolored pencils, you can put a lot of pressure at the very end to get the darkest value and to really get that saturated color on your paper. So you will need to switch to a regular grip, push down as hard as you can with the pencil, and again, kind of go back over it to make sure it's not choppy or streaky and everything blends nice and evenly. At this point, you'll want to kind of stop Hold your value scale, hold your paper away from your face a little bit and squint. Remember when you squint at your work, it's really easy to see values and you'll see anything that does not blend evenly will really stand out sharply and then you can go in and fix it. When you're done, you should have a nice smooth shading value scale that blends from very light, light, medium, dark, to very dark, without any kind of choppiness. Um, this is something that if you are struggling with, definitely practice more than just once if you need to. If you're not in class and doing this on your own, don't worry if your value scale is perfectly marked out like we have the um, stencils. Just feel free to freehand a rectangle you know, about seven or eight inches long by about an inch high. Doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but you do want it to be big enough so you can really practice that skill 